How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me once again. Um, day off today, so I figured I'd do a bunch of cleaning, get some uh, stuff in order I've been meaning to uh, do for a while. Um, and uh, packaging up a beer mail today for a buddy of mine. Uh, hopefully in, he enjoys it, but uh, yeah, got a little thirsty, so I figured I'd review a beer for you guys. Um, yeah, today's beer is going to be a collaboration between the brewery out in uh, Placentia, California and uh, Funky Buddha Brewery in uh, Florida. It's going to be my first ever beer from Funky Buddha, but uh, today's beer is Guava Libre. It's a uh, Imperial Cream Ale. Uh, from what I hear, uh, Funky Buddha does a lot of, lot of uh, fruited Imperial Cream Ales. So pretty cool. Uh, this one's brewed with guava, of course, and then with uh, lactose and vin vanilla as well. So sounds awesome. It's uh, brewed to resemble a, a Cuban guava pastry. I forget the name of it. I researched it the other day, but I have no idea what it's actually called. But um, yeah, 7.5% alcohol by volume. Let's get it cracked, poured, see how it is. Wow, very murky color to this one. <laughs> Almost resembles a uh, New England IPA in color. <laughs> Super opaque, um, yeah, almost murky kind of color to this one. A uh, yellowish orange kind of thing going on in this one. Bit of carbonation and a, a finger of a fluffy, frothy, uh, off-white sort of head. Let's get an aroma. Mmm, big maltiness to it. It do almost does have like a desserty kind of aroma. Definitely getting that vanilla. Hint of that uh, guava in the background there. There's a tartness to it. That's a nice smelling beer. Yeah, can't wait to try it out. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, really nice beer. Definitely getting the guava in this one. There's a big creamy maltiness to it. Definitely getting that lactose, the vanilla. It's got a really beautiful desserty kind of vibe. But I'm really digging the uh, guava character in this one. Uh, you definitely get the fleshy, slightly tart uh, guava. Um, oftentimes in guava beers, uh, specifically, the fruit can be uh, masked a lot by the base beer. This one showcases it nicely. Um, yeah, definitely getting that fleshy kind of guava thing. Um, yeah, really big fan of guavas, but guava beers just, like I said earlier, can often be just muted um, by the base beer. Um, but uh, yeah, getting that vanilla for sure, uh, some lactose, beautiful creamy mouthfeel to it. It is a really dense beer, really heavy, but I really dig that. Um, yeah, it's still got this beautiful spritziness on the uh, front of the tongue there. Um, it might be a combination of the carbonation and the tartness from the guava, but uh, yeah, just a really nice dessert kind of beer. This would be phenomenal after like some uh, gyros, maybe some like shawarma, like uh, maybe some fish tacos, stuff like that. Some nice uh, like a uh, bright, vibrant, uh, summery kind of foods. This would go amazingly with that um, yeah just an awesome beer very fun to drink it's not mind-blowing at all but uh, I would definitely pick this one again it's been uh, guava libre from the brewery and funky Buddha um, I'm gonna have to pick up uh, more of funky Buddha's beers because uh, this is really delicious um, I love fruited beers and uh, yeah from what I hear they know how to use adjuncts and their beers really well so uh, yeah that's what I'm about so um yeah as a rating on Guava Libre um, I don't know I think I go like a uh, B plus A minus kind of thing uh, maybe maybe a 88 right around there really good stuff um, let me know what y'all think of this beer if it's available to you uh, let me know what uh, other beers you enjoyed from Funky Buddha and the brewery anyone who watches the no uh, channel knows I'm a huge brewery fan and uh, yeah thanks for watching everybody please like comment and subscribe and until the next time cheers